welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we are going to be dis discussing dust covers. I know it's spine tingling and you may never be the same, but um, a while back we did a two minute art tip about um, how to put on framing hardware and we got a lot of positive responses from that and also requests to like see the other uh, different kinds of tasks that go along with framing. So today I'm going to do a brief walkthrough about dust covers. Now dust covers um, were a thing that was created in the framing process in order to keep excess dust, dirt, and moisture, um, maybe even like little creepy crawlies out of your, your artwork and your frames. Um, so it was a barrier on the back to seal up your frames. Now, not completely as necessary as it used to be, but it's kind of like, um, you know, the, the like pretty little uh, touch on the back that kind of, um, finishes everything off uh, very nicely. So yes, this is a ready-made and typically you don't put a dust cover on ready-mades, but I do. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, one of the considerations that we're gonna have today is that this already has hanging a hardware on it. So we're just gonna work around that and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. Okay, so we have a piece of um, black dust cover paper and then I have a roll of ATG. Okay, what is ATG? It's adhesive transfer gum. Um, and basically it's like a double-sided tape. Without the tape, it's just the sticky, okay? Uh, and so what we're gonna do is generally, if you do this often, you would have a gun, an ATG gun. You'd press the trigger and <laughs> But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down um, right here. We've got, let me find where the sticky starts. I think it wouldn't be that hard. Mmm, yum, there it is. And I'm going to just put the ATG down on the edges here, like this. Now granted, you're going, what a hack, buy a gun, blah, blah, blah. But really around my studio and for as few jobs as I do, I don't find that I use my gun that much. Um, like granted, if I'm getting ready for a show, oh, well, that's, that's pretty handy. But most time I just do it this way. Um, and you can see I'm working around this extra piece of hanging hardware. Now, you can always take that off if you want to with a screwdriver. Um, but we're just gonna cut around it. So we're gonna put on our ATG tape in like so. And yeah, we're gonna get some on our fingers and it's not that big of a deal, you know. It's kinda like um, easy to wipe off. So we're gonna press that down in place and then we're gonna tear it off and you're gonna see see this shiny stuff that's the glue let me hold it up so you can the light can catch it so you can see boop, 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 right there now as you can see this this frame used to have an easel back on it but i took a um a screwdriver and just popped that off because we don't need that. Now you can always put another piece of backer board in there, like a piece of foam core instead. Um, but um, I don't really, this is mine. <laughs> so I'm not really all that worried about it. Now, professionally speaking, if you're if this was something that you're going to sell, you would probably want to do that, put a different backer on it. Now we've got an even distribution of ATG. And if it goes over the edges a little bit, don't worry, don't don't have a thing over it. It's not a big deal. We're gonna work it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna take my fingers underneath here and I'm gonna pull and push my fingers up against the edge so we get in a nice tight 
lay down over that. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to press it over here. Okay. Now I'm going to bend this. Now, is this absolutely necessary? This part? No. And the reason I do it is because it helps me to see what I'm shooting for. Okay, so we've bent this edge and we're seeing where the, the back edge of this frame is. Now what I've got here is a Logan dust cover trimmer. Um, this one's really, really, this is big. <laughs> and what I'm used to using a dust cover trimmer is generally more like a X-Acto knife. And yes, you could use an X-Acto knife and um, a ruler for this. Now, in my experience with framing, um, <laughs> really like small ones like this, not a problem. Zip bang, you're done and, and the X-Acto works fine. However, bigger frames, um, you're, you're looking to make yourself frustrated because in, invariably one of those times the ruler is going to move and you're going to go, you know, and it's going to be all uneven. You're going to get mad and you're going to have to do this whole thing back over again. And you know, so it's worth a couple of bucks of investment if you're going to do your own framing and have this stuff uh, to go ahead and invest in, in, in these tools because it, it does make your life a whole lot easier. So we're looking for the corner here and what this has is a bevel on it. So this part you line up with the edge of the frame. The blade is out so you can see where it says blade. We can just adjust it to close it back up for safety reasons when it's not in use. But we got the blade out and what we're going to do is line this up with the edge of the frame and that bevel gives you a nice clean line like so. <laughs> Scooting all over. Normally in a frame shop you'd have a, a mat under there um, or carpet so you could so what we're going to do is, that did not, it cut it cleanly, but it's sticking to the excess ATG. So we'll just peel that part off. I'll show you how. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Took me a little extra. Now. Um, we're gonna take that part off. We're gonna do the same thing on all four sides. We are going to bend this over. Now this is a really, really heavy piece of dust cover paper. This would generally, you, what would you would use on a, a larger frame. So again, matching it up with the edge, run this along, pull down, and then boop. All right, now you're thinking, okay, yeah, but how do we deal with this around the hanging hardware? Well, I'll show you. I'm gonna make a release cut because the hardware's right there. And I can trim this up with an exacto when I get um, when I get all the rest of this done. You know, and it, if you're leaving excess hardware depending on how somebody would want to hang something, that's totally fine. Whatever. Um, and this is an easy way to do that. Boop, 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 boop. Pop, 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 pop. All right, last piece. And we have the hanging hardware up here. So I'm going to take this and We're going to clean these distractions off. Move this excess paper. All right, again, we're going to make a release cut. Now, 
if this wasn't a ready-made and didn't already have hardware on it, you would put the backer on, the dust cover on first, and then mount your hardware on top of that. So just like we've done in the other video, um, where you, you can reference it right here about measuring, finding the thickest part of your profile, going ahead and making your holes and putting your hardware on. All those steps are the same. Um, so we're gonna take that off. Boop. Okay, now on there, what we're gonna do is make a bigger release cut. We're gonna clean that up right there because we just got a little, a little extra. And they, these are just because we're working on a ready-made. And they're, this will lay down nice and neat and clean around that hardware. So then what you're gonna do is we got just a little bit of extra ATG over here that was on there. So we're gonna rub that off. Now, one of the things that works really good for this is um, our um, masking fluid pickup thing, because um, it takes up all this extra sticky, like really quick. Um, so we can clean that off. Okay, so now we've got our dust cover on the back and we still got a little extra ATG to take off but then our last step is to take some bump-ons we've talked about bump-ons before these are just like little silicone or rubber pads and this keeps the artwork from bumping up against um, the wall and scraping it up and it also keeps it flush against the wall with the hardware because normally the hardware will stick out a little bit so it causes the front to lilt and then the bottom is kind of tilted back against the wall this kind of evens it up and keeps it from scratching your paint and stuff and so we're going to put two of those on down there on the bottom and also if you have a little bit of branding for your artwork that would go right down here and stuff if you have an artist bio or anything that you um, or a statement that you like to attach to the back then you would use a little bit of ATG with that and put it on the back but otherwise you are ready to go so dust cover on and ready to show so nice neat clean and fast and easy so hope this was helpful and hope that you enjoy